welcome to virtual story time. Not quite live. Yes, I'm so excited to read these books for the upcoming craft blessing guide. This week we're going to be celebrating mothers and caregivers. You know, um, caregivers of all types, mothers, parent, like fathers, parent, parent, like everyone's been trying so hard during this pandemic. <laughs> Parents have had to take on roles. Caregivers have to, had to take on roles that they they never had to before, have had to stretch, have had to reach that extra mile. I know last year's Mother's Day, people didn't really have an opportunity to get together or to really celebrate their mothers or caregivers, those people who um, really take care of you day to day. I know that this year, Things are relaxing a little bit, and so hopefully people will have a chance to celebrate uh, the mothers, mother figures, caregivers in their lives who really have continued to hold it down <laughs> and keep everything afloat, keep everything steady in this very precarious time. So this week, because Mother's Day is on May 9th, we're like, hey, you know what? Let's do a Mother's Day craft. This one is about the superhero moms. And so you'll see later today um, the tutorial, but it's basically a super mom puppet. <laughs> Great. We're so excited to celebrate these super moms. And of course, I just realized that I went through this whole time and forgot to do the welcome song. So you know what? Let's do that. <laughs> and then we'll continue on with our story time. <clears throat> We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello with our friends at story time. We clap and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello with our friends at story time. We stomp and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. Hello. We wave and sing hello. Hello with our friends at story time. We wave and sing hello. Hello. Hi. Welcome to virtual story time. Not quite live. Okay, so I already started with the whole super mom um, craft, and so you should, you should come by, pick it up, you will enjoy it. And if you're seeing this on Wednesday, or any other day, um, we probably still do have a few left, so don't, don't um, feel like you've missed the boat. Now, this is my <laughs> treasure box, as you guys have seen before. It's got all these pow-pows and wows and fantastic and spectacular and you know what because we have super mom in the house i'm gonna say way to go you guys are fantastic you guys wow spectacular incredible you guys do such a great job thank you so much mothers thank you mother figures thank you caregivers for all that you've done for all that you've sacrificed during this time i hope you guys do find a way to celebrate and really it takes some time for you on mother's day Without further ado, here are the books that we're reading today. And it's all about mothers. <laughs> or Mother's Day, for that matter. First one we have is Mother's Day Surprise by Stephen Krensky, illustrated by Kathy Ember. We love our mom. The Berenstein Bears, Jan and Mike Berenstein. T-Rex and the Mother's Day Hug by Lo Lois G. Grambling, illustrated by Jack E. Davis. And finally, Biscuit Loves Mother's Day by Alyssa Satin Sapachilli. Pictures by Pat Scories. Well, I don't want to keep you guys too long because hopefully you guys are having a wonderfully fantastic day. So here we go. In fact, I think we're going to end up publishing this one three times. We're going to do it <laughs> on the first. We're going to do it on the um, next Wednesday. And we'll do it on uh, Mother's Day. Yeah. That way you guys get many adventures or many uh, opportunities to honor your mothers. So here we go. First book, Mother's Day Surprise. Ooh, let's find out more about this surprise because uh, <laughs> I'm not sure about this one. Mother's Day Surprise by Stephen Krensky, illustrated by Kathy Ember. 
This book is published by Mar Marshall Cavendish Children. Violet was a young snake. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> she liked sliding and slithering and shedding her skin whenever it got old. In her free time, Violet often played with the other animals. She erased the rabbits. She hung next to the bats. And she fooled around with the chipmunks. But as spring was sprung, Violet noticed a change in the air. The other animals were suddenly very busy. Too busy to play. Hmm. What are the other animals up to? Violet wondered why everyone was in such a hurry. What's the rush? She asked a fox trotting by. Things to do, he said. Violet could see that. What things, she asked, but the fox was already gone. What are they doing? What is everyone doing? Why is everyone rushing around? Why is no one available to play? Violet looked around for anyone with a moment to spare. What's going on? She asked the skunk, digging in the dirt. We're getting ready for Mother's Day, he explained. Already? Asked Violet, said Violet. The skunk laughed. Well, you can't start too soon. It takes time to make the perfect gift. Violet had to admit that was true. But what kind of gift would be perfect for her mother? Hmm. What kind of gift is perfect for your mother? What, what, what makes her happy? What... What could you get her that would be like, that would make her day? Violet watched a squirrel sorting through a pile of acorns. He was very picky about it. Why are you being so fussy? Violet asked. They're for my mother, said the squirrel. But she likes them crunchy. Wow, that's really sweet of this squirrel to sort them into piles of extra crunchy, not so crunchy, and just crunchy. <laughs> Next, Violet saw a bear crushing some honeycombs. That looks like sticky work, said Violet. The bear agreed, but I have to do it right. My mother likes things just so. Are there any things that you do maybe around the house or in general that you know you do it because your mom likes things just so and you want to help her out? Then Violet saw a beaver chomping on a fallen tree trunk. What are you doing? Violet asked. Shh, said the beaver. Don't disturb the artist at work. Sorry, said Violet. I can't afford to make any mistake, the beaver went on. When I'm done, my mother will love this. Hmm. That looks like he's making a statue. Violet was glad that everyone was working so hard, but that wasn't helping her. What could she do for her own mother? Without arms or legs or teeth, she couldn't make anything like the other animals. Never before had Violet felt it was hard being a snake, but she felt that way now. Well, she has like two little teeth though at the front, but I guess maybe she doesn't have like beaver teeth is what she's saying. As Mother's Day approached, Violet got sadder and sadder. The other animals were finishing up their gifts Violet still hadn't started hers. It wasn't fair. It wasn't fair at all. Then Violet got an idea. She practiced and practiced her present in secret. It was a tricky business, but slowly she made progress. Ooh, I wonder what Violet's working on. On the morning of Mother's Day, all the animals were ready with their presents. Violet was ready, too. Ooh. Happy Mother's Day, shouted Violet. Oh, my, said her mother. What a nice surprise. It's perfect, Violet. Absolutely perfect. Violet was very happy, even without arms or legs or teeth. She had shown her mother just. And if you guys haven't guessed it now, she learned how to form her body into a heart to show her mother that she loves her. And her mother felt 
same way too. Oh, that is so sweet. Well, let's take a break from reading for a minute and do a song. And this song should be in the comments, or no, should be in the description. And it's called Mother's Day, and it's to the tune of This Old Man. This old man. <laughs> it's very short. Mother's Day, Mother's Day is a very special day. Here's a great big hug and a lot of kisses to each one says that I love you. Yay. So you can sing that song to your moms or caregivers, mother figures who have um, impacted you in some way. Hope you like that song. Now, I'm going to bring shout out my next pair of glasses so that we can do this next book called The Bearing Queen Bears. We Love Our Mom by Jan and Mike Berenstein. We love our mama. We say hooray for our own special mama on her own special day. It was springtime in bear country and everything was fresh and fragrant. The trees were budding in bright springtime's green. The lilacs were in full bloom. Early butterflies flitted from tulip to daffodil and all the mothers of bear country were busy taking care of their little ones. Mama Robin was feeding worms to her chirping little fledglings. Mama Rabbit was teaching her baby bunnies how to hop. Mama Frog was taking a jar full of tadpoles out for a spell. And in the Bear's family treehouse, Mama Bear was taking care of her cubs. A lot of activity going on. <laughs> it was breakfast time and Mama was cooking pancakes for the family. Mama's pancakes not only tasted good, they looked good too. She made them into little bear faces for brother, sister, and honey. They always liked to eat the ears off first. Thank you, Mama, they sang, pouring lots of honey on their steaming hot pancakes. Mm, that's very nice of Mama to make those pancakes into those shapes for them. Mama Bear took care of her cubs in plenty of other ways too. She washed their clothes. She sewed their buttons back on their clothes when they popped off. She bandaged their boo-boos when they skinned their knees or stubbed their toes. She gave them baths, read them stories, and tucked them in at night. She gave them hugs when they woke up with bad dreams all day, every day. Mama Bear was there for her cubs. Wow, Mama Bear sounds awesome. <laughs> well, I'm off to Grizzly Grands, said Papa finishing up his breakfast. A rocker on her favorite rocking chair came loose and I fixed it for her. Can we come, asked sister and brother. Of course, said Papa. Grizzly Gran and Gramps will be very glad to see you. Oh boy, a visit with the grandparents. Papa loaded the rocking chair and they all set off. Look at all these springtime babies and their moms, said sister. Spring is in time for new babies, said Papa, and for their mothers too. And don't forget, Mother's Day is coming up. Brother and sister had forgotten about Mother's Day. They needed to figure out what they were going to do for their mama on this special day. This is my move. I'm missing a page, sorry. Howdy, Grand Cubs, said Grizzly Gramps when they arrived. Always great to see you. Gran tried out her new rocking chair. Why, it's as good as new, she said. Thank you, son. You're so good to me. Gee, Ma, said Papa. It was just a loose rocker. Well, little things like that means a lot to us moms, Gran smiled and gave Papa a kiss. Now, Cubs, come look at what I'm working on. She had a big scrapbook out on the table. Now, I know that a lot of you understand the the family hierarchy when it comes to grandparents, parents. So um, your grandparents are your parents' parents, <laughs> and your parents are your parents. And eventually, uh, should you choose to in the future have your kids, um, you know, it, 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 it all, you know, it, it all goes in this pattern, right? So um, for Papa, you know, he's helping his mom, but she's also his children's grandpa grandma. This is 
my mama's book, she explained. It holds so many good memories. She pointed to a picture of a pretty young bear holding a baby, like this. Who's that, said brother. That's me, Gran smiled. <laughs> you look so young, said sister. I was young, Gran laughed. That's your father when he was born. Our father, they said. You mean Papa? Of course, said Gran. But he's so little, they both said. Yes, she agreed. He has grown. That's right. At one point, Papa was a little kid, too. And when he grew up and soon, a man and had his own kids. Well, Ma, said Papa, we've got to go, but we'll see you next week on the Mother's Day brunch. On Mother's Day, we're all going to brunch at the Old Grizzly Inn. On the way home, brother and sister thought about their day. That scrapbook and Papa doing nice things meant so much to Gran. We need to do something special like for Mama. On Mother's Day, said sister. How about making a mom's book like Gran's, suggested Papa. We could put together a scrapbook all about being a mother. Yes, said brother. We can use old. We can use family photos from the old box in the closet. A mama's book for our own mama bear, said sister, nodding. Um, I don't know how you guys are choosing to celebrate, but that could be an idea. Make a scrapbook for your mom of all the wonderful family pictures that you guys have and all the fun times you've had over the years. When they got home, brother and sister sneaked the box of photos out of the closet took it to their room and got to work. They spread the pictures on the floor and went through them. They used one of their school notebooks for a scrapbook. Look at that, repurposing. They picked and chose, cut and pasted, lettered and colored, and by the time supper time, they were, by the time supper time came by, they were done. They hid the finished scrapbook away in a drawer. They couldn't wait for Mother's Day to arrive. Oh, that's really sweet. A week later, brother, sister, papa, and honey ran into mama and papa's room first thing in the morning. Happy Mother's Day, they called. Here's your present, mama. For me, said mama sleepily. How nice. And she unwrapped her present. Why, it's a mama's book just like Gran, she said. How wonderful. I've always wanted one just like it. Thank you, my dears. And she gave them all a big hug and a kiss. Then she opened the book to the first page. Mama's book. It had pictures with of mama with her three babies, brother, sister, and honey. You were so cute, brother, said mama, so round and plump. We called you chubby cubby. <laughs> sister laughed. But you, sister, said mama, you cried all the time. We called you cranky paws. And it was brother's turn to laugh. Then honey came along, said mama, and she was so sweet. And we just called her honey. Oh, <laughs> honey pointed to her picture. Baby, she said. <laughs> That's right. The rest of the scrapbook was full of all kinds of pictures of the family. There was brother learning how to ride a bike, sister on her first day of school, and honey waving. There were birthdays, picnics, vacations, school plays, soccer games, Thanksgiving dinners. They were all things that mama would want to remember about her cubs growing up. Oh, this is really sweet. There was a tear in mama's eye when she came to the end. Thank you, my dear, she said, hugging them all. This was the most wonderful Mother's Day gift I have ever gotten. Happy Mother's Day, Mama, brother and sister said. Happy, said Honey. And now, said Papa, it's time for all of us to get ready to take Mama and Gran out for their Mother's Day brunch. And that was exactly what they did. So however you choose to celebrate Mother's Day this year, just make sure you stay true to your mom and what you know she will love. And honestly, She'll probably love anything that you do. Let's sing our next song. So this one's called If You Love Mom and You Know It. And it's sung to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It. If you love mom and you know it, clap your hands. If you love mom and you know it, clap your hands. If you love mom and you know it and you really want to show it, then you, sorry, and your face will surely show it. If you love mom and you know it, clap your hands. If you, um, if you love mom and you know it, blow a kiss. If 
you love my man, you know it, blow a kiss. If you love my man, you know it, and then your face will surely show it. If you love my man, you know it, blow a kiss. If you love my man, you know it, give a hug. Give her a nice big hug. <laughs> if you love my man, you know it, give a hug. If you love my man, you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you love my man, you know it, give a hug. Yay! <laughs> I'm sure she would love a hug from you. <clears throat> if you love my man, you know it, say, I love you. I love you. <laughs> if you love my man, you know it, say, I love you. I love you. <laughs> If you love my man, you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you love my man, you know it, say I love you. I love you. I love you, mom. <laughs> I do love my mom, by the way. I won't see her for Mother's Day, but um, I will eventually get to see her. She lives in another state, so I haven't seen her at all this pandemic. <laughs> But there you go. I still love her just the same. And I look forward to the time that we do get to reunite. Well, let's get to our next book. It's T-Rex and the Mother's Day Hug by Lois G. Grambling, illustrated by Jack E. Davis. This book is published by Catherine Teagan Books, which is an imprint of HarperCollins Publishers. Let's find out about T-Rex and the Mother's Day Hug. Now, I feel like this one, the way it's written is, is the title is quite interesting because we all know that T-Rexes, they have like short arms. Can they hug anyone? Let's find out. A note was taped to T-Rex's refrigerator. It read, remember Mother's Day. <laughs> very, very, very emphatic. T-Rex's doorbell rang. It was his friend. Diplocatus, Stegosaurus, and Iguanodon. Each had a package. Mother's Day gifts? T-Rex asked. asked. You bet, Diplodocus said. Are you doing something for your mother again this year? Instead of getting her something? Stegosaurus asked. T-Rex nodded. <laughs> He's like, yep. <laughs> what are you doing? Iguano Iguanodon asked. I haven't decided, T-Rex said. Better decide soon. Mother's Day is tomorrow. What? You still haven't figured out, T-Rex? You got, like, have less than half a day now. The block could have said. Call if you need any help, Stegosaurus said. I will, T-Rex said. Thanks. Ooh, he is cutting it real close. The next morning, T-Rex rushed downstairs to see his mother. Happy Mother's Day, Mama, he said. I want to do something for you today. Something that will make you happy. Mama Rex smiled. A Mother's Day hug would make me happy, dear, she said. Aww. I want to do more, Mama, T-Rex said. More. Maybe I can go to Dinosaur Swamp and pick some ferns and decorate the women's room for you today. But then T-Rex remembered he and his friends had done this before, and that had not made Mama happy. Mama remembered, too. How could she forget? The living room had turned into a rainforest. Muddy footprints and murky puddles were everywhere. Ugh, what a mess. No, thank you. <laughs> your, the president is supposed to alleviate your mom's responsibility. It's supposed to make it easier for her, not add more work. <laughs> Mama's, Mama Rex's brow folded into rows of wrinkles. A Mother's Day hug would make me happy, dear, she said. I want to do more, Mama, T-Rex said. More! Maybe I can wallpaper the dining room for you today and make the dining room brighter. Mm, thank goodness. Just listen to your mom, T-Rex. But then T-Rex remembered he and his friends had done this before. And that had not made Mama happy. <laughs> Mama remembered too. How could she forget? T-Rex and his friends had prepared, had papered over the windows and over Grant, Great Aunt Bertha. The dining room was dark now and Great Aunt Bertha was just a bulge on the wall. <sighs> what a mess. 
Mm -mm. No, thank you. Please don't do that. Mama Rex's brow folded into folds, big rows of wrinkles. A Mother's Day hug would make me very happy, dear, she said. But I want to do more, said T-Rex. What can he do for Mama today? He looked out the window and he saw Mama's car. Yeah, T-Rex hurried out the door. I'll see you later, Mama, he said. Oh, oh my goodness, what is he going to do? Mama Rex went to the kitchen, made herself a cup of tea, sat down, waited, and worried. My goodness, what hijinks will T-Rex get into today? T-Rex called the Blockidus, Stegosaurus, and Iguanodon. They came right over, oh my goodness. And the four friends started doing things to mother, to Mama's car. Diplocidus uh, painted a frowning T Rex on the grill. Oh God! Stegosaurus painted racing stripes on both sides. Their hearts are in the right place. Iguanodon hammered a shiny ornament onto the hood. T Rex painted and pasted ferns here and there and everywhere. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, these kids. And when there was absolutely no more they could do, T-Rex added a sign on the side that read, Mama's Rexmobile. <laughs> T-Rex stepped back and admired Mama's Rexmobile. Oh my god. <laughs> Diplocidus, Stegosaurus, and Iguanodon stepped back and decided to leave before <laughs> Mama Rex. Sorry. And they notice. I don't know if T Rex doesn't notice how horrible the car looks right now. I think his heart was in the right place. T Rex called out to his mama, Come on now, mama. Mama Rex hurried out and gasped, That's that's my car? She asked, hoping it wasn't. T Rex grinned, Now you won't have trouble finding your car when you park at the mall, mom, but he said. Oh, yeah, oh, Mama's, Mama's brow folded into bigger rows of wrinkles. I'm sure I won't, dear, she said. I'm sure she won't either, because that car, oh, yeah, you can see that from a mile away. Happy Mother's Day, Mala, T-Rex said, giving his mama a very big hug. Suddenly, all of Mama's rows of wrinkles disappeared, and a very big smile spread across her face. That Mother's Day hug made me very happy, dear, she said. That's what I wanted most for Mother's Day. You know what? I love you so much, Mama, T-Rex said. I know, dear, Mama said. Mama Rex said. I love you so much, too. And even though Mama Rex loved T-Rex so much, she was so happy. Mother's Day came only once a year. <laughs> I feel the same way. Happy Mother's Day, Mama Rex. <laughs> it seems like T-Rex has done so many things over the years but with a good-natured heart and well-intentioned because they've not gone the way he probably planned and Mama has been left with the aftermath. So when you guys think of what you want to do for your mother this year, Maybe think about what she'll actually like. Maybe a hug is enough. And maybe that's all you should give her. <laughs> Last song that we're doing is called We Love Mothers. And it's to the tune of Fuego Jacques. Okay. So we're doing We Love Mothers. We Love Mothers. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Mothers are for hugging. Mothers are for kissing. We love you. Yes, we do. Thank you, mothers. Thank you, mothers, for your love. For your love. Mothers are for hugging. Mothers are for kissing. We love you. Yes, we do. Yay. We love mothers. Mothers are... You guys, <laughs> I just, I can't, I'm not a mother. I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I haven't raised a child, but I have mad respect for mothers and all, all that you guys do and for caregivers 
fathers too, but mothers as well. <laughs> Here we go. This is the last book that we're reading. It's called Biscuit Loves Mother's Day. The story is by Alyssa Satin Cappuccini. Pictures by Pat Shorties and Scorties. Shorties. <laughs> Come along, Biscuit. Today is Mother's Day. Mother's Day is a great way to show mom how much we care. <laughs> Biscuit's like, I'm on board. This picture will be a perfect present for mom, Biscuit. Woof, woof. Wait, Biscuit! <laughs> uh oh. You need to hold still just a little bit longer. To try and paint a picture of Biscuit and the cat. But they just want to play. There are lots of ways to celebrate Mother's Day, Biscuit. Today, we'll surprise mom with breakfast in bed. Chocolate chip pancakes are her favorite. Oof, oof. Funny puppy, you can carry the morning paper. <laughs> Good. Mom loves to garden, Biscuit. We can help with the planting and the watering. Uh-oh, what's Biscuit doing now? <laughs> You want to help mom with the digging too. Right. <laughs> Good. Okay. So he's being helpful. The sun is shining. There's hardly a cloud in the sky. It's a wonderful day for a bicycle ride. <laughs> Biscuit, where are you going? <laughs> Sweet puppy, mom's basket is just the right size for you. Aww. Here, Biscuit, it's time for Dad to set up the picnic blanket. <laughs> and time for us to give Mom her Mother's Day crown. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. Look, even the ducks are celebrating Mother's Day. <laughs> quack, quack. <laughs> Silly puppy, not a big shake. <laughs> Oh no, oh no. You know what happens when the dogs get out of the water. It's whew, splash city for everyone. There's nothing better than spending the day with mom. Is there, Biscuit? Happy Mother's Day, mom. We love you. And that is Biscuit Loves Mother's Day by Alyssa Satin Cappuccilli and pictures by Pat Scorey. Well, thank you for joining me for today's Mother's Day story time. I hope you guys enjoyed the stories that we read and the songs that we sang. And don't forget to honor your mothers, mother figures, caregivers today um, or every day, really. You know, Mother's Day is not the only day that you honor people. You can honor them any day, but do something a little extra special on Mother's Day, which is May 9th. OK, so here are the books that we read today. Mother's Day Surprise by Stephen Krensky, illustrated by Kathy Ember. The Berenstein Bears, We Love Our Mom, by Janet and Mike Berenstein. T-Rex and the Mother's Day Hug, by Lewis, sorry, Lois G. Grambling, illustrated by Jack E. Davis. And finally, Biscuit Loves Mother's Day, by Alyssa Satin Cappuccilli, pictures by Patch Scores. And now, I know, I know you're sad, but you know what? We're going to be back for the next story time, so no worries. Until then, we wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this with our friends at Story 